Hi everyone, my name is Vijay Samuel and I work for eBay's monitoring team. And uh, roughly in the next 10 minutes, we're going to talk about how we started using Grafana at eBay. So many moons ago, uh, we had our logging and monitoring team and our charter was simple, uh, give out APIs that the users, ca that is the developers in the company could use to instrument their applications with to send logs. Uh, we had our own developers who built out UIs for being able to search, view, and uh, debug their issues. Um, and metrics were no different from logs. We gave out a bunch of APIs to instrument the code. Um, the important thing to note about this process was that the quality of the UI was entirely dependent on the person who's building the UI. Um, I'm not, uh, I wouldn't call myself as a front-end uh, uh, developer, but I was the one who was building some of those UIs. And at one point, adding new graphs was so painful that I decided to do a proof of concept uh, based off of Grafana. Um, the first attempt was a literal hack. I took the master branch of Grafana and I modified the OpenTSDB data source uh, to be able to understand our internal APIs. Uh, and we built out some dashboards, uh, 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 primarily scripted dashboards, but it didn't have all the complex features like uh, templating or annotations. And this is how it, it looked like. This was about uh, three, three or four years ago, and uh, I think I tried out Grafana 3.x. So what was missing? Um, it wasn't clean. It was a dirty, dirty hack. Uh, the, the code was not maintainable. Uh, every time I tried to rebase, something would have changed upstream, and it was a little nightmare to maintain. Uh, yeah, and like I mentioned, it, doesn't, it didn't support things like templating and annotations. This POC was being used by some of our on-calls, and eventually it was lost in the sands of time uh, until a few folks from our uh, uh, DB ops came and asked for Grafana support for our internal TSDB. And at that point, we pointed them to uh, this, this fork, and the, the two gentlemen that I mentioned, Stephen West and Austin McReynolds, they, they did something fantastic. So they took the dirty hack and they converted into, uh, it into a dedicated data source plugin uh, where it was still uh, grunt generated code. Uh, and they also added Docker support to the, uh, to the plugin. Uh, and I took that and I ran with it a bit more where I had some Kubernetes deployment scripts uh, for people to be able to deploy this. Uh, and every time someone asked for Grafana support, I would point them to this uh, uh, these cube specs and tell them go run it and uh, uh, every time they ask for features I would use my spare time and build out some features for that. And then at one point a big, big breakthrough came. Uh, our SREs also built their own custom UIs and they decided they wanted to trash all of that and use Grafana to build out their experience. And uh, Satish Sambasim who, who, who runs SRE, he, uh, he played a big role in this. A uh, big shout out to him. This was the big moment. Uh, so they took it to the next level. Uh, they started to overlay a lot of data on their graphs. For example, any change that was happening uh, that impacted the site, they, they dropped them as annotations on the graph. So they were able to catch interesting issues like a DNS flip caused errors to spike, and that was right there on the dashboard. Uh, they started providing hosted solutions. Uh, when I was maintaining it, I, I just handed over a spec, go deploy it, use it on your own, but they now added a, a standard where, okay, this is the portal you need to go to uh, to look at all your graphs, and they also started to build a lot of canned dashboards where developers can go and start looking at things. They also started uh, contributing code uh, uh, in terms of features, and they also requested a lot of features themselves, but it was still a grunt-generated file. Um, and at one point, they were like, hey, monitoring team, can you start supporting this for us? Um, this is an example graph that, uh, or a dashboard that they built. Uh, they have four golden signals, which they basically used to uh, triage all the issues that were happening on the site. There are many more dashboards that they built. Uh, and uh, after a lot of uh, back and forth, we eventually said yes, and the monitoring team decided to uh, take up Grafana as a first class citizen in our offering. Uh, and this came with a whole new makeover. Now, there were seasoned uh, UI developers working on the problem, and the first thing they did, decided to do was throw away that grunt-generated file and to do it right this time. Uh, they added widgets uh, for, uh, for being able to view logs and events. Uh, 
and uh, they also provided a hosted solution, this time a lot more better than what the SRE folks did. Uh, and they also ad started adding a lot more features into, in, uh, into Grafana, like uh, being able to authenticate with our internal APIs and uh, uh, also uh, implemented annotations uh, support for, for our data source plugin. So in the meantime, um, uh, there are a lot of changes that were happening in the back end as well. Uh, we decided to get rid of all the custom APIs for being able to ship logs, metrics, and events into the platform in favor of more cloud, cloud native mechanisms. Uh, for example, uh, any, any person uh, new to tech should be able to log to a log file. So uh, we started advoca advocating that log to either standard out or a log file, let us know what it is, and we'll ship the logs for you. And the same for metrics, uh, instrument your code with the Prometheus, and if you're running on Kubernetes, provide a few annotations saying that th this is the port that we are exposing the metrics on, and we'll be able to collect and ship it into the platform. And do all of this as a community player. So we started investing a lot of uh, a lot on open source. If you found uh, a product to be uh, worth investing on, and if you found gaps, we started contributing to them. Uh, one, of, one of them, which I'd like to call out, is the Elastic Beats project, which uh, we have been constantly committing code back into. So in this entire journey, uh, uh, now we are at a place where we can say that we are slowly changing the, the dynamic of monitoring inside of eBay, and Grafana is playing a big picture in, in all of that. And so there were some interesting lessons that we learned. Uh, it's always good to be a part of the community. Uh, anytime uh, uh, we saw that a feature was missing, we tried really hard to build it out in a generic way and uh, try to give it back to the community. And only if there was friction from the community, we would manage an in-house fork. Um, creating dashboards is easy. Um, uh, the, when I first worked on UIs, every, every panel that I had to add had to have some code change go into it. Um, Rome was not built in a day, but our custom data source plugin, at least the first stack, was definitely built in a day. Um, so that's a, a, a big testament to Grafana. Uh, if, if a non-seasoned uh, UI person like me could build it out in a day, then imagine wha how much power you, the, the product is giving to every developer. Um, cloud native is everything. Um, uh, moving away from custom custom APIs and moving into more cloud native constructs has helped us to onboard more use cases than we could ever imagine. Uh, in the old world, if you had to onboard uh, MySQL logs and metrics into the platform, the requirement would be, hey, can you change your uh, code, uh, the MySQL code, to have all our APIs to uh, be able to ship the metrics and logs in? That was a straightforward no. But now, we're, with cloud native mechanisms, we can onboard any uh, any application into the platform. And last but not least, we should have adopted Grafana sooner. Uh, this was four years in the making. Uh, it's definitely a no-brainer. Thank you. All right.